Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Craft the World. And on tonight's episode, we are going to be continuing where we left off. Now you guys can see that it is raining. Uh, they are getting more and more and more water inside this uh, this little area. And I think these guys got caught out here in the rain. So I'm going to give them something to stand on. That seemed to be the deciding factor last time for them to be able to get out. Although this time doesn't seem to be helping them too much. Let's, uh, let's at least leave them there. That's a lot of scaffolding to leave around, but we are picking up a lot more wood. We're going to go ahead and grab some of this water right here. Grab all that water. Gather water, yep. And gather water. Now, you don't normally see mushrooms being on the top of the surface. Like, this This one is in my actual house. That is fairly unique. That is actually some the first time I think I've seen that in a long, long time. Let's just put down some dirt. We're going to create a floor over here. And then we're going to go a little further to the right as well as a little bit further down. There does look like there's something right here. So we're, this is going to be the episode that we explored this in. And we're just kind of picking up resources this time. We're not going for anything in particular, uh, mainly just for resources. I think most of my guys do need to sleep a little bit. So uh, that's probably going to happen sometime in this episode. If this turns out to be what I think it is, we're going to need a little bit of sleep. And yeah, that's definitely... Um, the right time to do it because <laughs> you want to be cautious and you don't want your people to die and if you're being just uh careless you guys are going to die they're going to die very very easy in this game and it just isn't worth it guys so let's go ahead and put down a portal we're going to put down a few of them so this is going to be a hub of activity for some time to come let's do scaffolding if it will let me right here we're going to put down some lights let's see light right there and we're going to continue on in this direction like this. Let's actually put down some more scaffolding so you guys can reach that. And we'll do this. Um, I guess we'll put down one more right here. I don't think it's needed. I don't think they're going to be chopping that down anytime soon, but we'll give it a shot. You replace iron ore. So it's going to let me replace that one, not because it's different from dirt, but because it's iron ore in there where normally it wouldn't give me the option to do that. Uh, Mage book. All right. I think we do have a couple guys that don't have a skill like you are a fisher and I do have a mage. So let's go ahead and give you a wooden staff and we will make you a mage for now on hunter. There you go. You still need mining though. So we're going to have to kind of watch out for that. Okay. Got that in there. You guys are chopping down like, like maniacs. Let's do iron let's get the iron in here we also want those roots so i'm just gonna go ahead and grab those roots while we're at it let's go and chop down all of this and we'll keep going in this direction all the way over here to this iron uh, how are we gonna work our way down there i think maybe right here we can come down this little sideway uh in this little direction and maybe warm our way around rather than digging straight down digging straight down doesn't tend to be the smartest move when it comes to taking on certain types of enemies. And again, I'm trying not to give anything away because some of you might be watching for the first time being like, what are you talking about? Who could be down there? Uh, it's going to be kind of a cool little surprise, guys. If you've never seen it before, they, they do have some pretty tough enemies in here and they can be very, very nasty if you go into them without uh, knowing what to expect. So yeah, make sure before you go into a brand new area that seems like it could be too good to be true that uh, you, you know... You're going to want full health on your, your little dwarves. Let's go ahead and put the backdrop in. I think that's good right there. We're going to go ahead and put some lights in as well. Now these, I don't mind putting so many of them. Like the torches, I try to space them apart a little bit instead of putting one every other one. But these actually give off comfort ratings. So this is going to help out my guys up here. Again, it is further out. So it is going to take a while before those become effective. But at some point in the future, I am going to put another one of those totems down and it's going to go ahead and fill this up. Let's go ahead and replace coal, replace coal while that's going on. Uh, rear coal on that one. There we go. Now, only one person can really stand here and chop this stuff down at a time, which means by me giving other people tasks back here for them to do, it opens it up so that more people can participate. See, like I tell these guys to chop this stuff down here on the bottom, and they're all more than gung-ho to do it, and they do it really, really quickly. But then it leaves you with, what do you do next? Like, what are, what are these other guys are going to be working with? They can't really reach the top stuff anymore. 
Let's go ahead and put this here. Get all that set up. Um, we'll leave that. We'll leave that there. I was going to take that scaffolding down. But I think we need more lights. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, a lot of coal. Replace it all, guys. Replace it all. Replace rear. Oh, man. Okay, well. <laughs> Replace iron ore. Replace iron ore. Same with you guys. Keep going. Keep doing your thing. Don't stop. Uh, my portal gun? Nope, my portal is still going strong. That was a like a 12-minute portal. Didn't seem to last 12 minutes because every time they go through it, they uh, take a little bit of time off, and that's why I put down so much. I knew it was going to go by really, really quick. Uh, let's keep replacing ore. New technology advanced. Hopefully that gives me something to do with iron since we're going to have so much of it on us. Uh, that could be a mixed blessing. Now, I would say uh, let's hope it has something to do with iron, and then, of course... Uh, it gives us something to do with iron, and we run out immediately. Because, you know, you're going to use iron a lot in this game. And even though you think you have enough of it, you really don't. The, the game just kind of um, never quite gives you as much as you think you're going to need. Oh, yeah. Let's keep going on this one. Replace iron. Get it in there. Uh, scaffolding? We need to We need to take this stuff down. There we go. Yeah, we need it over here. Get in there. There we go. Um, replace iron ore. Same thing for you, my little friend. And let's start putting some lights down before we run out of space. And a light right here as soon as it gets done with that one. Oh, and there's more ore there. What a surprise. What a surprise right there. Let's take that down and we'll put a light down. Now, I believe you can still have scaffolding where the lights are. I just haven't done that in a while, so I just wanted to be extra safe. We should start working our way down here. So I am going to dig up this little area. This is where I am going to replace that dirt anyways because I don't like the look of it. And we'll use that as a staging ground to get even deeper once these guys have finished killing off all that. Here we go. We got extra scaffolding that we don't need here anymore. Let's go here. We'll dig everything out right here and we'll get rid of all these little mobs that are going to be in here. And then we're going to go straight down. Ooh, and it looks like there's some silver right there. So we're going to get some iron and some silver. That is nice. And we got a climber's book. Not too bad. Not too shabby at all. Let's see. We'll put down some lights right there. We'll even put down some scaffolding so my guys can reach it a little bit easier. And let's start digging, guys. Let's get in here. Portal. You're going to need a new one. I'm going to leave that one there. There's a lot of resources for them to pick up. But I'm going to have to put another one down over here in just a second once they get done over there. This guy is walking. Hmm. I guess they realize there's just not enough time left on that portal for them to do what they need to do. So let's, let's snag all this. I think they're done over there. Come on, grab it. Yeah, we're just going to go straight down where the silver is. We'll worry about uh, fixing the area, making it look nice later replace coal replace silver ore we'll go with scaffolding all the way down oh yeah look at that there's gonna be something in there but what is it gonna be with all these resources it almost guarantees there's gonna be something in there let's replace silver replace silver I don't think I need silver though I'll take gold I'll take gold if they have any of that. I really, really don't need silver right now. Okay, you guys are good on scaffolding. Um, yeah, let's fill it in while we're here. Doesn't take too long for that to happen. Uh, nobody wants to go over there yet. All right, well, that's not going to be what I thought it was going to be. I thought there was going to be something very special in here. Now, what you could do if this is too far away from your base and you're just like, oh, I don't know necessarily, I like this here. I might want to, um, uh, let's, let's pick up the, yeah, let's pick up all this stuff, get this stuff out of the way. Yeah, if you don't necessarily like the way it looks here, but you like the material itself, you can pick up all of this stuff and take it back with you. These fences right here are really, really good. They slow the enemy down, too, 
and that causes them to stop and get hit by your towers a whole lot more often than what would normally otherwise happen. And these guys are in here, but they're not going back home. So let's let's go ahead and pick this stuff up. These guys are gonna have to work that out for themselves. Hopefully, uh, hopefully they go home here in a bit. Actually, you know what we could do? We'll put a portal there, and we'll put the scaffolding back. Now, now if they can get into there, they can they can use the portal. Let's put that back here. Hopefully they figure that out. All right, get some wood because we are very very low on wood right now. Let's get this in there, and we'll take a look to see what they have left. Because, yeah, there they go right there. They are building those pieces of stone, which I think we needed to make... Was it a workshop? Do we need that to make a workshop? No, we already made the workshop. Okay, so here's a trap. Oh, yeah, we're making a trap. I think lock is the only one we have. Yeah, we only have one of those, so we'll have to make some more here in a bit. Uh, let's see, grain we have enough of. Rope? Uh, yeah, two. That, that's going to be... I don't know if we're going to have enough to make more rope, but we'll see. Let's put these here, and we'll put that down. What about leaves? We have 122 of those, not to worry. Let's see. What can I take off? We'll take off the couch. Uh, let's go into here. What else can we make? There we go. Stone kitchen. This is what we were looking for. So we have 35 of these now. Got some coal? Yeah, well, we've been mining that. We got 173 stone, so more than enough. 92 of these. And a pot, which you're going to have to make with iron, so hopefully you have a little bit of that laying around. I'm going to go ahead and make three of those, because I do like to make a lot of cooking. Mm, let's get rid of the bed. Put that there. All right, so we are going to put down... Uh, no, those are super, super small, so let's put those down somewhere else, like right over here. So there's two of them. Wow, I don't remember those being so small. That is absolutely nuts. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to uh, get rid of all of this stuff. Not sure why it's growing in right there. A little bit too much in the way. Let's see. Okay, so we did finish off making the trap, but now we actually have to make the fences. We got some new weapons here. Oh man, I do really want to give them some of these weapons. These are 25 damage, 30 damage on the longbow, accuracy 60%, distance 4. And we don't have any rope. What do I need for rope? Rope. I need wool. How much wool do I have? I have three. So we can make uh, we can make three ropes with one wool, I should say. Uh, and it's still not what I was looking for. I'm looking for the uh, the fences. Where are the fences? Uh, not in here. There's a parachute? What the crap does a parachute do? They say the orcs from the dangerous caves were the first ones to use the parachute and they they definitely had them a parachute will protect a dwarf when falling from a great height what over and over again do they, do they repack it that is amazing i am i'm giving that to somebody i don't care if i ever even use it i'm, I'm giving that to somebody that sounds really cool okay the fabric it uses all the stuff i have like one of so yeah i probably won't have too many of these but i'm making one I don't care. I'm making one of those. This sounds amazing. Really, really cool. Okay, so I need to go into my research because I just cannot find the pin on my own. Oh, where is the pin? Hmm. Was it further back? Oh, there it is right there. A farm fence. And what do I need for a farm fence? Rope? I'm only going to be able to make one of these. And you need like five or something, don't you, to make a... A pin successfully well at the very least it's already done I'll just be able to click on it grains I don't remember grains being used in so many things okay there's the pin right there let's do right there where the mirror is how many beds are taken one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so there's ten beds not everybody has taken one for themselves so some of these people have yet to go to sleep since uh, we've gotten those beds put down. 35%. We were at 40. The bigger you make your area, the harder it is. How did you get stuck in here? You guys, you guys have some of the strangest stuff happen to you. Well, might as well go fishing while you're in there, man. You got you got a little portal. Um, yeah, we could come over here and take a look at what's going on. This is where you kind of want to put your your pin when it's finally done which it's not i am under attack 
from what? I don't know. I didn't see anything there. All right. So what else do we have? Uh, kitchen is finally uh, finished being done. Let's put that down. Let's do that someplace. It's not going to fall. Let's do that over here. Wow, those are really small too. I thought I remember those being a lot bigger. Maybe the uh, more advanced version is what I'm thinking about. I got some uh, resources over here. No, not really. Uh, you know, I kind of wish these things would look a little different. Like there would actually be a little bit of character mixed in there with these things. Let's go ahead and get all this. We'll get the spider too. Yeah, <laughs> figured that would get their attention. They do like their combat. Let's go up right there. I should get ever get everything right. Uh, I hope so. Ah, uh, there we already have a sheep down here, so I'll just put that right here. It will capture him, and then we'll need a pin to put him in. Uh, anybody in there? No. So let's get rid of that before that happens. And nobody down here, so let's get rid of that as well. We'll lose that uh, that magic time on there, but that's okay. Okay, did you guys get that? Yes, you did. Let's let's put that right there. How are you guys doing? Uh, not too bad. You guys are going back the slow way. Now let's zoom out and get a good look at our base. We have some gold. We have some silver down here in that area. This is the bottom. We can't go any further. You can see like the lines going up on the map, the little sparkles. That is me holding down the button on the arrow keys that go down. It just does not want to go down any further. This is a small map for your very first one. Uh, so you're not going to be able to go too much deeper. This uh, doesn't seem like it has a lot left to explore. I mean, we're, we're almost right there on the frontiers of beating this level and we really haven't even uh, decided to to delve too far down that looks like a little bit of silver although it's not even on the map like these oh there's some iron over here so if we want to get some more iron deposits let's see how high has this gone uh that portal has finally disappeared and these guys are still over here so i'm gonna stop trying to help them <laughs> it rose up a little bit Definitely rose up. Let's go ahead and kill these guys over here. The rats do love going outside to the water. Here we go. Here's some rat. Ah, oh, he's taking my food. You can even see him eating it. Oh, I ate your guts. Where is that rat? Where is the rat trap? Mm, I don't see their nest. Has to be in here somewhere. Oh, man, where is their nest? I don't see it. I must have missed it. With this many rats, there has to be a nest. I assume. I could be wrong. I just assume that would be a thing. Let's get these guys in here. There, there's another rat. Um... Yeah, no nest. No nest that I can see. This is really, really far down, and the rats can come from any part of the map. Ah, I did get some more leather from it. So, yeah, I'm not going to complain on that one. That's actually wonderful. That's exactly what I needed. Kill these rats. Here we go. Ah, there they are. There they are. I almost kind of want to leave it. It goes through my food a lot, but I almost want that leather in there. Uh, how can I get this guy? Catch insufficient farm space. Okay, well, we have this. Let's see. What if we put that over here? It's just going to be one. Not enough. All right, let's look at that again. What was that under anyways? Farm space. Was it over here? Yeah, it was. So rope. We're going to need wool. Ah, I really wish there was another way to make that. And another red. We're going to have to kill one. I think that's what it comes down to. We, we have the stuff for it. We just don't have the stuff for it. I want to leave this guy here because he's already there. It's going to be a lot less for these guys to, to travel back. So we need some wool. We need to we need to come out here. I'll tell him to kill these dudes off. We'll get a little bit of wood while we're at it. Most of that wood probably is going to fall off the edge right here. But we're going to see if we can get some. Come on, bring it back with you. Bring it back with you. 
Oh, she's chopping down like a crazy. Oh, you know what? We did uh, we did get some more axes and pickaxes, and I forgot to put them on. I know I'm an idiot, guys. I do apologize. Let's go ahead and put these things on because they are so much better than anything that my guys are wearing right now. And it cost me a lot of resources to make those, so <laughs> I want my guys to benefit from it. And they still haven't even made all the pickaxes yet because you can see there's only uh, four of them there. Are these the iron ones? Oh my god, I'm giving the guys the wrong ones. Let's go back. Okay, so that's a steel, that's a steel. This is a steel one. That's what we need. All right, steel. And now you need a steel axe. Get that one in there. Now, I was also told by Tam uh, that you could have just a really good axe on there and nothing else. And that would guarantee that they're always going to chop trees down because unless they have the skill to do so, they're not going to use an axe to chop down uh, blocks, not uh, to mine. So if you want to make sure that your guys are all miners for some reason, uh, you can do that. You can also make sure that they just chop down trees. They're going to be a little less effective when they're switching back and forth. If you ever need like all your guys to mine or all your guys to chop down trees. That's why I tend to give my guys everything because I like them to move as a team, a unit. That way, if they do get attacked, they usually have somebody there behind them that can support them to... Um, at least maybe if they're extremely lucky survive the fight so you got three minutes left on that one that should be good oh yeah look how much faster they're chopping this stuff down a lot of that stuff is just gonna fall off you know come on get it in there get it in there hopefully they get everything back otherwise i'll have to put down another portal uh, i don't know they might it's gonna be very very close they got one more trip there they go, and if I just get rid of that, they cannot come back this way. And that's a good job, guys. Job well done. I like it. Keep uh, keep chopping these trees. Get that food in there. How's food going over here? Not too bad, not too shabby. There's rats eating it. So let's kill those rats. Oh, okay, so we got some wool. We finally got that going. Let's see if we can make our... Our little whatever over here. Let's see, we need rope. Rope needs wool. Come on, there we go. Wool. So we can only make three, but three is enough to make at least one more, right? Three more. Okay, well, three more is perfect. Uh, not necessarily... I, I guess three is going to be, you know, just fine. I was, I was thinking maybe I want it a little bit bigger, but that's something we can wait. We can wait. We'll get them in there to start with, and then we'll, you know, start shearing them and, and getting all that stuff going, and we'll, we'll wait about uh, about pushing the limit a little too far right now. We just need to get that in there. Let's go ahead and uh, expand this just a tiny bit. We are going to keep going down this direction at some point and uh, have this entire map mined in rows i like to do the rows i know some people do different uh, sim uh symbols you know like a skull or you know they can do whatever they want there's so much different you know designs and ideas you can do with this game but this is the most simplistic you can you can just do the lines uh two by two is fine i do like to do three by three or four by fours most of the time as far as height goes but that yeah, is really comes down to what you're going to be putting inside those things and how much decoration you want to put inside of them. You can see it gets very crowded if you start putting down the big tables and the chairs and the dressers and the mirrors and, you know, all this stuff. And this is just the bare minimum. Like, we haven't even scratched the surface and how many items you're going to have access to uh, as time goes on. You're going to get a lot more of the uh, decoration aspect of the game than, um, than pretty much anything else for, for a good bit of time. Let's see. You guys finished it? Yep, sure have. Let's go right there and this should give me the ability to have enough space to put at least a couple guys in there and I still need the shearing the shears to get that stuff out of them but I might be able to buy one I have 12 gold <laughs> I know I should probably be able to make it but I only have a little little bit of technology right now and I don't think I have access to that yet what about steel swords? Okay, well, we do have the steel. How much do we have? 12. Let's do let's do a couple swords. Ah, we'll just do three swords, and we'll just make the rest. Yeah, 94. Oh, wow. We don't really need that many, but we'll do... We'll do 62. I know that sounds like a lot, but we're also going to have armor that's going to use a lot of those. I think the breastplate uses anything from, like, four to five bars per breastplate. 
So if you're going to fill out 10 guys, you're going to be using like 20 or 30 of those bars to do the breastplates alone. And then you're going to be using, you know, two to three bars for boots. And um, what's the other piece? I think it's like uh, the hat. You're going to be doing the helmet as well. And then the weapons, as you can see. So, yeah, you're going to use a lot of bars over the given course of a lot of time. You also get rail systems in this game if they still have it in here. Rails use... That, that iron as well. I believe they use a little bit of bars and then a little bit of um, of iron, like pure iron, in its raw form. So you do need to save a little bit of both. This guy's making stuff over here. There's two of those blacksmiths, but they're, they're alternating between the, the different materials. So I'm going to put a portal down to help these guys just to have the stuff picked up for them a little faster. Insufficient farm space. So do I need to do another farm? Uh, this means I'm going to need some more... Sheep. Where can I find a sheep? Uh, here we go. Here's the sheep over here. So let's let's come out here and take these guys on. Might as well take these little cemetery stones on. There we go. We got some uh, some bad guys popping out of that. Still got 16 minutes till the next one, till the next wave of bad guys. So I think we're good. We'll go ahead and kill that boar while we're at it. Get that. We'll put down. One more. Okay, let's go in here and craft. We need to craft some some rope. Where's the rope? Uh, is it in here? There it is. Yep, we can do three. Okay. We need to do... A trap. And it's just the farm fence, right? Like, that's... That's all you needed? You just needed to put down a big enough space and then like a building popped up behind it? Or was there something else you needed? I think that was it. So we'll just go ahead and build another one of those. I hope I'm right. Because if not, I'm wasting time. Like, I still want those. I still want the three fences. I still want it to be big. But I, I need to get those things in there like as soon as possible. Because there's leather armor I could have made out of this stuff if I had done this earlier. There's a lot of stuff I could have made if I had done this earlier. And that's not what I wanted. Put that back on. There you go. Alright. You guys still not done with this? How are you guys doing over here? Still making bars almost out of the portal? I'll put down three really want those bars to be done you're making those okay so just a few more seconds let's go we're already on 1.5 so i'm gonna leave it there i was gonna pump it up to two but i think we should be good watch these guys make some stuff i know a lot of people they come through this game and they rush through a lot for me one one of the most enjoyable aspects to playing video games is watching the small details that some of these programmers put in there so like these guys are making bars of iron right now you can see they're kind of going like hi ho hi ho with their arms and then occasionally they just stop like they get tired it's kind of a cool little touch you know like the guys they wouldn't be able to work 24 hours a day they do <laughs> i don't give them a lot of sleep but they will get tired i like the fact that you can make them energized by giving them beer or tea and i like the fact uh, my dwarf is drowning? I, I don't like that fact. That he needs to learn how to swim a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Oh, is he gonna make it? Is he gonna make it? Yeah, he did. Alright. You are good, my friend. Okay, so how many? They're done. Let's go ahead and put these in. If this isn't big enough, then I don't know what is. There's one, two, three, four. There's four in there? I thought there was maybe five already. Come on, five I think is what you need. Yep, yeah, five is what you need. And there we go. Now I can catch them. Got to catch them all, guys. Let's get these in there. Go down there and get them, guy. I think I can reuse that, that thing, too. I, I want to reuse that trap. Yep, there it is. Remove trap. Go bring them back. Look, it's in a sack now. I don't remember what they used to do. I think they used to just uh, like lead them back. I think they would follow them back. Uh, do, 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 cut no scissors. All right, can we make scissors? And what row would they be under? Ah, there they are. So we need iron. We need a decent amount of it. Four corners of iron followed by, right in the center, some nails. So we're going to make three of those just so that I can have three people doing it if I really want to. 
I don't think I really want to, but I want to make sure I have that option. There we go. One in there already. You are making... Oh, there's uh, there's a sheep down here as well. There's another one. Now, you don't... He's a very, very small baby sheep. He doesn't have um, very much fur on him. It does take longer for them to build that up. Let's see. Are you done yet? Yes, you are. Let's put that... Let's put that one right where you walk. You walk back and forth, don't you? Well, you're stuck over here for now, so let's put it there. Because knowing my luck, if I put it over here on this side where I was thinking about putting it, uh, he would stay over here for the next, like, 20 years. So I'm just going to go ahead and assume that he's going to stay there. Going to walk in. There we go. You are trapped inside. Let's go ahead and catch that. We'll put back my scaffolding so my guys can get in there a little bit easier. And we're going to go ahead and snag... Yeah, well, that's not going to replace it. We're just going to go ahead and snag these two iron right here because we need a little tiny bit more. Not not a lot, just a tiny bit. Remove trap. Where's the other sheep? There he is right there. So we're going to grab him too. Uh, let's cut these guys down. And we got him trapped in there already. That's perfect. I like these little holes. We might have to do that more often. I think we were doing that at some point on one of our maps we actually created these little holes for people that fall down into little uh, animals so we wouldn't have to go running after them if we wanted them but we kind of got out of the habit of doing that here we go let's put that in there you guys are good we got some more cooking that we can put down mm. let's do let's do i don't want to put any more over here I guess let's do them over here since they're so small. They do get a little bit bigger when they put them down. <laughs> They've already sheared those guys. Where are you guys coming from with that that trap? Uh, now, if I clicked on him to tell everybody to attack him, uh, they would immediately stop what they were doing and go up there and attack him. Everybody would, and I really, really want these bars to finish. Let's see, armor, armor, armor. We can make, we can make some long bow. Oh no, we need the the rope to do that, and we actually might be able to do that now. We have, we have a little bit of wool, so let's go ahead and make some rope. We got six of those. Okay, so with the rope and wood, which we have been building up. Yeah, we got three hundred and something of it now. Uh, we got a little bit of steel. We're gonna make three of those. Three of those is all we can make right now. Let me look at this. So we have been making some still swords. Let me find a melee guy. Somebody who actually has the skill. You're a mage. You're a miner who doesn't actually have the skill at anything. You're a warrior, finally. Okay. So we get a warrior in there. What about you? A mage, archer. There we go. Warrior. So let's give you a good weapon. Now you'll see the weapon they used to have was a steel club, which is not too bad. That's 20 damage. The steel sword is 25. Now we can always take the steel clubs apart and get some of the ingredients back. You just never know which ones you're going to get. Uh, so we have... Let's see. You are a warrior. You are nothing. So you need a skill. I have 13 coins. I could buy you something. I could make you a warrior. I like that idea. So that's one warrior. One warrior. You need to be something. I kind of want you to be a mage. I kind of want to just wait. Wait until I find the right books for you. Ah, and there's my backpack. Okay, I'm giving the backpack to you, my friend. I don't know who you are, but we're going to we're gonna see if we can catch you just jumping off stuff here in the future. Now, one of the things I did way back when... On my very first playthrough on the very first level is I, I dug down on the very top surface I don't remember what I was doing but I, I dug down and it eventually became this giant hole that went straight down for a long period of time and I, I used that as a way to stop the enemies from getting to my base I don't know if that would still work now that they have parachutes but I think with that in mind I could definitely use my guys to get across that gap without taking any damage because they have parachutes so there, there's some uh, some aspects to it i'm kind of curious about and these guys are definitely able to be on the surf or on the the bottom floor of this uh, giant river but they're not digging through 
like they normally do. Now, we still have seven minutes before they get here. About three minutes until they get here, I am going to... Um, to stop them and get them to go to sleep. In fact, I might do that in between this episode and the next one because we're going to go ahead and end it here, guys. Now, I definitely want to thank you guys all for watching. I do realize that on this episode, we haven't really got as much done as we normally do. We kind of took a little small break, did some research, built some things for the house. I uh, definitely got to uh, put this thing down if they will ever put it down there. Uh, as always, guys, I'm AC Gamer, and I will definitely catch you next time. Hey guys, and welcome to the disembodied voice of AC Gamer. We are definitely going to be doing a lot more series in the future, but here are a few of them that you guys might find interesting. Of course, you're more than welcome to check them out. I would love to hear your comments. Again, if you do enjoy these videos, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. It's definitely the indicator that I use to uh, tell if you guys want to see more videos like that of that particular game style of that uh, you know series in the long run so when you guys leave comments down it helps me decide whether we should keep doing it as well as whether you want to see games like that in the future and here are a few of them right here I kind of picked out uh, a few of different genres we will be doing spotlights for other youtubers in the future so if you uh, want to get a little shout out definitely let me know if you group with me uh, chances are you will get a shout out in here eventually. But for now, these are just uh, four series that I have that I feel like uh, could use a little bit more attention and that you guys might actually enjoy as well. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we will definitely catch you all next time.